Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more articles, okay? If you want to know what page I'm reading this off of, it's called ourblackgirls.com, okay? I will be breaking the codes when I see some. I will see if where they body was at, is it? I will see if they did, did if I'm, I'm going to see if they still alive, deceased, or if they know where their bodies are located. So let's begin. This is about Baby Willow, newborn. W-I-L-L-O-W, newborn. Mother say she gave away missing child. I'm hearing she killed the child. What happened to baby Willow? In February 2016, Susan Richardson reportedly gave birth. I'm hearing she did not like the baby because the baby was too poor for her. So Susan Richardson could have been in human trafficking and when she had the baby, the baby was too pure. So she killed the baby. Yes, they do do that. Wisherson, a drug addict with documented mental health issues, is said to have walked the same path almost daily. Her friend reportedly told authorities that Wisherson would leave for her morning trip to a 7-Eleven before making her way to the local drug house across the street. After handling her business there, Wisherson would walk home, saving time by cutting through the Willow Bean Apartments in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> I'm hearing Mom James. I'm hearing Foe. Things took a turn on February the 16th, 2016, 77, when residents of the complex found after birth in the parking lot, the placenta. And when police arrived at the scene, they followed the trail of blood right to Russell's front door. I'm seeing her stepping on the placenta. However, the mother did not have the baby, nor were there any evidence that Wisherson was preparing for the child's arrival. There were reportedly more blood located in her bedroom and in the laundry room. But there wasn't any cribs, pampers, formula, toys, or anything else to suggest that Wisherson planned on keeping or taking care of the baby. I saw her, she could have cut this baby out of another woman. Okay? Um, this is Susan Wisherson, probably what she would look like. Okay? I've also seen Jaguar right from this picture. Immediately after locating the full tongue, or it could be the mother, the real mother. Immediately after locating the full tongue, I'm hearing yes, it is the real mother right here. That they cut the baby out of her. Immediately after locating the full tongue placenta in the apartment complex parking lot, investigators' top priority was to find the newborn. It was determined that Wisherson gave birth to a girl who was later dubbed a baby willow. But finding the child proved to be difficult. Wisherson told authorities that she left the child on the doorstep of one of Willow Bean's residence, but authorities were unable to locate the newborn. On the day she gave birth, sometime around noon, someone called the Orlando Fire, Orlando Fire Department to Wisherson home. They was alerted that a woman had suffered a possible miscarriage and Wisherson were rushed to a nearby hospital. Yes, there she told doctors that she was probably three to four months pregnant and miscarried. Um, it was actually the woman that cut the baby out of her. So, yeah, well, right or something like that. There she told doctors that she was probably three to four months pregnant and miscarried. She did not mention giving birth and hours after being released from the hospital. A Willow Bend resident found the afterbirth that, afterbirth that linked Wisherson to the case. A woman who, a woman, see, after birth, the placenta, that means the after birth, so people to keep the after birth, okay? So your child can live and, you know, be healthy. Um, watch my placenta video. A woman who claimed to be one of Wisherson's close friends will later tell police that Wisherson gave the child away. She's saying no. The illegal witness wanted to remain anonymous because she was reportedly concerned about her safety. She's saying Jaguar was her friend, that she thought was her friend, because she was reportedly concerned about her safety, but she told authorities that Baby Willow was in the care of someone near the crack house. I mean, I'm, so, I'm also hearing Shawanda. By the 7-Eleven, Wisherson visited each morning. She's saying she worked there. The person who illegally had the baby was said to be fearful of coming forward because they did not want to get into trouble with the police. The friend also claimed that while pregnant, Wisherson revealed she was going to give her baby away, but she never named the individuals. Okay, this is Susan Wisherson and Johnny Bryant. Okay. 
things. They're like mob games, okay? Meanwhile, authorities searched tirelessly for Baby Willow. They drained a nearby pond and shredded through swamp's waters, hoping to find a trace of the child. I'm hearing a pipe. The baby could be in a pipe somewhere. Over 550 hours were spent searching through sewage and dump dumpsters, and Worcester soon stopped cooperating with investigators. She was arrested for child neglect, and when her boyfriend, Johnny Bryant, went to visit or would call her in jail, their conversation was monitored. Unfortunately for investigators, nothing came up that helped with the search of Baby Willow. There was no evidence that the newborn was dead, but authorities believe that the child is no longer alive. I'm hearing fool. While in custody, Wilson reportedly did not seem concerned about her child either. People reported that Wilson had a lengthy criminal record that included charges related to assault and battery. She told us she dropped the baby off at someone's apartment at the doorstep. Orlando Police Sergeant Wanda Ford said, She's not telling us the entire story, but we don't know. We don't know if she did drop the baby off at someone's apartment. Our biggest concern is that the baby is alive and that it's safe. This is Susan Richardson. She is also dead in this photo. Okay. Richardson pleaded no contest to the third degree felony charges of neglect of a child. Yet she did work at 7 Eleven. An unlawful desertion of a child. Each of those charges would have landed her in prison for up to 10 years each. But a judge. But a judge sentenced Susan Richardson to 51 weeks in jail. They prison, they jail. After serving eight months behind bars, she was released and placed on probation for four years. That means they killed her body for four more years. Yet, not long after her release, Richardson was arrested on domestic battery charge. Her boyfriend told police that she kicked him out. He, she kicked him after he told her not to smoke crack while on probation for child neglect. Um, they ate on her. She reportedly fled the scene and went to her boyfriend's mother's residence. When arrested, Richardson told authorities that she only kicked her boyfriend after he struck her in the face. The two reportedly lived together and shared children. It is assumed he was the father of Baby Willow, but that's not, but that has not been confirmed. Months later, in January 2017, it was reported that the Florida Department of Children and Families learned that Richardson violated her probation when she illegally visited her other children unsupervised. During the investigation, it was also discovered that Richardson was pregnant once again. Her boyfriend Brian, she's saying no. Her boyfriend Brian was contacted by reporters that he would not reveal if he was the father of the unborn child. The status of that child's whereabouts had not been shared publicly. That's ransom talk right there. At the time of her disappearance, baby Willow was just a newborn who was hours old and between six to 10, 10 pounds. I heard 10 months. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. Baby. I'm going to go October. Baby Willow, also referred to as Baby Wisherson, was last seen on February the 15th, 2016. And authorities claim Wisherson may have been walking around with the baby between 10 o'clock a.m. to noon that day. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Orlando Police at 407-246-2470 or their local authorities. The agency case number is 2016-066472. Please share this story about Baby Willow to help bring resolution to this case. She is our sister and her life matters. Okay? Like I said, I don't do this for the fame. I don't do this for the money. I do it because this is what I love to do. I love to set souls and spirits free. So if you want to help with this case, just contact these numbers or contact me. Okay? I'm out, peace. To find both of their bodies. I'm hearing both of their bodies. I'm hearing either I'm hearing they could be stuck together or they could be somewhere separate. Okay? Now.